In a long history of covering puzzle tales and cryptic curiosities by Post Curious and others, the last theme that I was expecting was classic board games. A little cute, a little twee, but Post Curious has been nothing if not consistent in subverting my expectations, and this is no exception. So here we are with Morrison Game Factory. The publisher's first title from an outside designer, MGF, is by TV writer Lauren Bellow, best known for her work on Foundation and Sandman. Within the box, as is usual in these narrative puzzle adventures, you have an assortment of totally not sus components full of suggestive odds and ends, with colors, numbers, symbols, and other intangibles begging to be employed to solve a greater mystery. Speaking of which, without spoilers, the basic narrative is an urban an explorer found these materials while dusting around the old abandoned Morrison game factory, sending you the items within feeling that there's a deeper mystery at play. With some sort of internet access and a couple other household tools from notepads to maybe a couple containers, you're to find out what really happened, and boy was it more than I expected. Let me be honest for a sec, as beautifully illustrated as this box is, I was kind of dubious on the whole theme. One of the most appealing things about the publisher's former projects was the deeply resonant, heartfelt, and often morose story at their core, and I just wasn't getting that vibe when I cracked to open the box. Well, it doesn't come across as a lacrimose, as the light in the mist, or as wistful as a drift or the emerald flame, but there is a truly weighty center at the core of this game. Equal parts, listless and uplifting, punctuated by some genuinely laugh out loud moments that really pay off. As you find your footing amongst the contents, the game takes shape and you are shepherded through the largely linear narrative by plugging responses into the in-universe computer interface, affirming solutions, providing on-demand hints, and dropping periodic and rather intensive blocks of narrative, which though sometimes longer than you'd want to break up the puzzle solving goodness, is thankfully compelling in its own right. And the puzzles? Well, that's where the game feels most like a return to form. Post Curious's origins were in dramatic components and sensational solutions that had you questioning where the tabletop ended. While nothing at the box rivals the bizarre wooden doodads of Ord, there is a bespoke and oft surprising utility to every token, word, number, game board, manual, and instruction, sometimes returning as further layers are revealed as the game goes. The mechanical heart of this game is strange, crafty, surprising surprising, clever, and did not disappoint. One thing of note, though, is it was less difficult than prior entries by this publisher. Here at TCBH HQ, we don't specialize in this sort of escape room in a box, but we certainly have enough under our belt to know what we're doing. And as a product, it's hard to tell if this one was easier on account of our experience, the challenge level, or the craft involved to make still complex solutions less obtuse. But we finished in about four hours in a team of two held over three sessions, with clues only access to make sure we were on the right path when feeling out on a limb. Also, while I came away actually feeling like the game made really good use of its kitschy theme, it still felt like the least lavish of Post Curious's publications to date, lacking those knockout components that you want to treasure as mementos, which is a real shame. But the game's beautiful balance of narrative and mechanical originality more than makes up for it. Once again, defying expectations of what a puzzle tale looks, sounds, and feels like. The Morrison Game Factory is a brilliant debut by Lauren Bellow and a worthwhile experience for fans of puzzle tales and escape rooms and just the puzzle curious alike. And that's our review, but let us know what is your favorite puzzle tale, escape room in a box, or other cryptic curiosity. Have a discussion in the comments below. And as always, thanks for watching, thanks for supporting, thanks for being an awesome community. You know that I've been Jack for the Cardboard Herald.